everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Today we have our lesson on translation practice. Yay! <laughs> and the topic we're going to talk about today、uh -huh. is. Your computer crashing and you losing all the files. You forgot to save it. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, a computer crashing—that's no fun.、Mm -hmm. But I don't know. These days, I don't worry about my computer crashing. You don't at all. Like either I'm lucky now and my computer doesn't crash, or when my computer has problems. Normally, if I'm working on a document,、mm -hmm. I'm working on it in like the cloud. Ah,、oh, okay. So it's automatically backed up. I'm not、mm. really that worried about. I will lose、um, some information or some or files. Some, some files that I worked on. But I think if you're not working on cloud, then it's not really automatically saved.、That's、you have、true. to save your file, right?、But、in fact, I do some video editing,、mm. and in that program, if the computer crashes suddenly, it is it automatically saves it. Ah, I think、okay. software is becoming more and more intelligent. It helps to automatically save. Be mm. Because I think back in the days, we really, really had to worry about that. Maybe、yeah. you're working on an essay for like several, several、yeah. you know, hours, and all of a sudden your computer crashes and you lose everything.、Yeah. Hours of work. But now I think now people don't have to worry about that as often. Yeah, and I think the technology is a little bit better these days. Definitely. And computers and cell phones don't crash like、right. they used to. Mm -hmm. So it's something we worry less about now. But of course, if you're working on something, you should save it and make sure that it's saved because it really, really stinks when you lose a file.、Mm. I know, and you have to start all over again. All right, let's learn more about this very interesting topic. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. Translation practice. Practice A. Some people prefer to take diet pills to lose weight. In fact, getting regular exercise and having a healthy diet are the only ways to stay in shape. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to translation practice. Today, we'll be doing some translation. We're going to translate four sentences from Chinese into English. Right, and okay, it's time to get started. Let's get started by taking a look at the first sentence of the day. 今天要翻译的第一个句子是：有些人比较喜欢吃减肥药来减重。那么主词是有些人，动词是比较喜欢。这个是句子在陈述四十岁时太凶现在是。Okay, we're going to be discussing three things in sentence number one. First up. Let's talk about how to use the word prefer. Let's see how we can use this word. Prefer to verb. Okay. First things first. If you prefer something, you like or enjoy it more than something else. Me, I prefer baseball to basketball, for instance. I don't dislike basketball, but I do enjoy baseball more. And there's more. You can prefer to do one thing over another as well. Me, I like to play basketball, but I prefer to play baseball. If given the choice, I'd rather play baseball. For example, I prefer spring or fall to summer. Jeff 老师说他比较喜欢春天或秋天胜过夏天。那么动词 prefer 它就表示偏好、更喜欢。后面可以接不定词，也可以接名词或动名词。例如 ，I prefer to watch movies at home。我比较想在家看电影，比较喜欢做这件事。那如果是用 prefer A to B 或是 prefer A。Over B 来表达喜欢 A 胜过 B， 那这个 A 和 B 我们只能用名词或动名词哦。例如 ，Some people prefer texting to talking。有些人比较喜欢传讯息胜过讲话聊天。Okay, let's move on to our second phrases. Okay, next we'll be talking about what it means to take diet pills. Oh my gosh, what a phrase! Take diet pills. Here, everyone, when someone goes on a diet, they're doing something in order to lose weight. Some people, dieters, change what they eat to lose weight. Others eat less to lose weight. 
and others still take diet pills to lose weight. Yes, if you take a pill, you eat that pill. Yeah, take and not eat is the word to use when talking about ingesting medicine or pills. Anyways, a diet pill is a pill that you take that helps you lose weight. For example, if you have to take diet pills, only take them for a short time. It is not healthy to starve yourself for long periods of time. 吃减肥药并不健康，最好还是不要尝试。那么 ，take diet pills 就是指吃减肥药。那注意，吃药的动词我们是用 take， 不是用 eat。那么 ，diet 在这边表示节食、限制饮食。Diet pills 就是减肥药。例如 ，taking too many diet pills may lead to death。吃太多减肥药有可能会导致死亡哦。Okay, everyone. We're almost done with sentence number one. Next, we are going to talk about what it means to lose weight. Lose weight. Now, why do people go on diets? Well, they want to lose weight. That's why some people are fat or overweight, and they want to be thinner. So, what do these people do? They lose weight. They try to lose weight, or they try to. Slim down. Also, because being really fat is bad for your health, doctors might advise people to lose weight for health reasons. For example, if I don't start to lose weight soon, I won't be able to fit into my bathing suit this summer. Oh, 同学们曾经有过这样的烦恼吗？如果现在不开始减肥，夏天的泳装就穿不下了。好，我们要表达减重，这个英文可以说 lose weight。例如 ，to lose weight, you need to eat less and exercise more. 要减肥，你就必须少吃多运动。好，那么现在看完相关文法，重点可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be. Some people prefer to take diet pills to lose weight. Anyways, this is not a good thing. When you take diet pills, it kills your appetite. You lose weight, but you're also starving yourself. So don't do that. Starving yourself is never the right thing to do. Anyway, sentence number one is now complete. Let's go ahead and move on and begin translating sentence number two. A word of caution, though. There's a lot to cover in this sentence. 嗯，好，今天要翻译的第二句是：事实上，规律运动和健康饮食是保持健康的唯一方法。这个主词呢是规律运动和健康饮食，动词是是。那它是来陈述事实，所以时态是现代简单式。那这边补充一下，规律运动和健康饮食呢，用动名词来表达，我们可以写作 getting regular exercise and having a healthy diet。你也可以写作 exercising regularly and having a healthy diet。那因为主词有两个动名词，所以后面是要接复数动词 are。那我们先来学习如何用英文表达事实上。In fact。As a matter of fact, so there you go. We're getting started on this sentence now. These two phrases have a similar meaning. You can use the phrases "in fact" or "as a matter of fact" when you're about to say something that is a fact, not a belief or an opinion, an actual fact. You could also use the word "actually" or the phrase "in reality" to say something similar. Anyway, use these phrases to direct people's attention to the truth. For example, I might look like I enjoy camping, but in fact, I hate camping. Jeff 老师说，他也许看起来像是喜欢露营，但他其实很讨厌露营。那么 ，in fact， 或者是 as a matter of fact。这两个副词片语都可以表达事实上、其实。比如 ，I know her very well. In fact, I went shopping with her last Saturday. 我跟她很熟。事实上，我上礼拜六才跟她去逛街呢。Well, well, we get it, Jeff. You really, really hate camping. I do. I do. <laughs> That being said, you do look like someone who likes outdoor activities. Well, I do like. Exercising outdoors—that's true. I like to do so on a regular basis. Anyways, getting regular exercise. 
Okay, let's start at the beginning once again. The word exercise can be used as both a noun and as a verb, okay? Exercise is something you do to get fit or to get in shape, to become stronger or to get healthy as far as your body is concerned. So there you go, that's at the heart of this phrase, that's at the beginning of this phrase in a sense. Anyways though, further, to exercise is to do exercise. So if you go jogging, if you go to the gym and get a workout, if you go to the park, take a walk, you are exercising or getting exercise. Further, if you get exercise on a frequent or regular basis, it is common for you to exercise. You commonly exercise, you often exercise, or you do, do so as if it were on your schedule. For example, my doctor said that getting regular exercise is his number one recommendation. 嗯,医生都会建议要规律运动,那我们要表达规律运动,这个英文可以说 get regular exercise,或者是exercise regularly. 那我们要翻译的句子它是用动名词当主词,所以就会用动名词的形式把它写作 getting regular exercise,或者是exercising regularly. 好,例如, getting regular exercise is one of my New Year's resolutions. 好,规律运动是我其中一个新年新希望。Getting regular exercise is important. Mm. That being said, you need to eat well too. You can't be healthy if you don't eat a healthy diet. Right. You can't have a bad diet. Having a healthy diet. Now earlier we talked about going on a diet. The word diet though can have another meaning. Your diet can also be all the food that you normally eat. This is just the meaning of the word diet, okay? This is the meaning of the word diet, I should say, that Hanny and I just used, okay? And yes, you do have to have a healthy diet in order to be healthy. You can't starve yourself and eat junk food all the time. That would be bad for you. Yeah, a bad, unhealthy diet like this can make you unhealthy, so have a healthy diet, a diet that makes you healthy. For example, if you don't have a healthy diet, you can get sick easily. Having a healthy diet 就表示健康饮食。这边同样是用动名词的形式表达。那要特别注意, having a healthy diet is as important as exercising regularly. 健康饮食和规律运动一样重要。Okay, everyone, hang in there. Only two more explanations to go. Right. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do both of these explanations right now, back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that this is the only way to go. The only way to verb. If there's only one way to do something, only a single way to do it, this is the only way to do this thing. For example, the only way to succeed in school is to study hard. 学业要有所成就的唯一方法就是用功念书。那我们来学习 the only way to 加原形动词的用法。好,这里的不定词 to 加原形动词它是摆在名词后面来当作形容词的用法。The only way 是唯一的方法。那 the only way to 加原形动词就表示做某事的唯一方法。例如, the only way to get there is by boat. 到达那里的唯一方法就是搭船 OK, let's take a look at the next explanation and then take a break Stay or keep in shape This one's easy If you exercise regularly you probably have no problem staying or keeping in shape Yes, to stay or keep in shape is to stay healthy body-wise Yes, if you stay or keep in shape you maintain your physical conditioning. If you're feeling fancy, you can use those <laughs> words. Anyways, by the way, if you're out of shape or you have failed to stay or keep in shape, 
your body might just be unhealthy and your physical condition might just be poor. So, hey, keep in shape, stay in shape. For example, if you don't stay in shape year-round, it will be difficult to run a marathon. 如果没有让自己一整年都保持健康，要跑马拉松是会很困难的。那么名词 shape 它有样子啊、形状、外形的意思。In shape 就可以表达身体体态没有走样，没有维持健康健美的状态。那相反词 out of shape 则表示不健康的，或是体能状况不佳的。好，那我们现在要表达保持健康，英文就可以说 stay in shape 或者是 keep in shape。例如 Mia swims every day to stay。In shape, Mia 每天游泳来维持健康。好，那么现在看完相关文法重点，我们可以翻译整个句子了。So the sentence could be: In fact, getting regular exercise and having a healthy diet are the only ways to stay in shape. Okay, everyone. The first half of today's lesson is now in the books. It is time to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back with the second half of this month's translation practice lesson soon. Translation practice. Practice B. While I was writing my term paper, my computer suddenly crashed. I forgot to back up my files, so I had to start over. Welcome back, everyone. It's time to get started on the second half of this month's translation practice. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at sentence number three. 今天要翻译的第三个句子是：我在写学期论文时，电脑突然宕机了。那么主词是我，动词是写。是这个句子呢，它是来描述过去发生的事。那它的主要子句说电脑突然宕机了，这个动词是用过去简单式。那么副词子句是说我在写学期论文时，这是当时正在进行的动作，所以动词是用过去进行式。Okay. It's now time to go ahead and take a look at the first sentence pattern of the day. While subject plus verb, comma subject plus verb. The word while here tells us that the things being described in the clauses of our sentence are happening at about the same time. Here's the takeaway: you can use this pattern when you want to talk about two things that are taking place at the same time. For example. While I was taking a walk, it began to rain. 好，这样老师这个例句是说，当我在散步的时候就开始下雨了。那我们来看这个句型 ，while 主词加动词，逗号主词加动词就表示在什么什么的时候，当什么什么的时候。那么 while 引导的子句呢，常常会用进行式来表达动作持续进行的状态，像是 the doorbell rang while she was cooking dinner。当她在煮晚餐的时候，门铃响了。Well, isn't that the worst? You're out there taking a nice walk when all of a sudden the rain begins to fall from the sky. Yes, that's the worst, especially when you don't have an umbrella.、Mm. Oh, terrible. Well, maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, I remember disliking writing term papers、oh. a lot back when I was a student. Term paper. A term paper is a big. Big school assignment. A term paper is a long report or essay or research paper, etc., that might just be the biggest, most important assignment for some term in school. By the way, here a term is a period of time during which classes at a school are in session. Anyway, students write term papers to show what they have learned. Over the past term in school, so yes, term papers—they're kind of the big deal. For example, any term papers that are handed in late will receive an F. 学期论文迟交，成绩一律都是 F， 直接被当掉。好，那么 term paper 就是学期论文。Term 这个字就有学期的意思。例如 ，When is your term paper due? 你的学期论文什么时候要交呢 ？Well, Jeff, what do you have for us next? Something exciting, maybe. Uh, um, may maybe are are crashes and things、uh, like that exciting? Uh, no, not at all.、Mm, yeah, are crashes exciting? Anyways, crash, go off or break down. 
Here, if something crashes, goes off, or breaks down, if these things happen, something suddenly stops working without explanation. So if your computer crashes, for instance, it shuts down on its own without explanation. You don't know why it won't work anymore. One moment it's on, then maybe it freezes a little bit, and then it goes totally off. The screen goes lifeless and black, maybe. Yeah, the phrase breakdown, by the way, is similar to the word crash, though we often use it to describe machines and how they slowly break over time until one day they stop working entirely and need to be fixed. By the way, cars and motorcycles, for instance, they break down. When they do, you've got to get them repaired. Now, if a car or a motorcycle crashes, well, that's something else entirely. <laughs> Anyways, for example, it looks like your laptop has crashed. You'll have to reboot it. Oh, oh, 我看来你的笔电似乎宕机了,你必须重新开机。那Jeff老师刚刚用到 reboot这个字, R-E-B-O-O-T, 它只有重开机再启动的意思。好,那我们现在要表达宕机,像是电脑或是系统宕机,英文可以说 crash,或者是 go off. 或者是 break down. 例如, his computer keeps crashing. 就是说他的电脑一直宕机。好,那我们现在看完相关文法重点可以翻译整个句子哦。So, the sentence could be... While I was writing my term paper, my computer suddenly crashed. Oh, no. Anyway, let's begin discussing the final sentence of the day. Sentence number four. 今天要翻译的第四个句子是 Okay, let's get started on sentence number four. Well, what are, what are we going to, what are we going to be discussing? I, oh. I don't know. What are we going to be discussing? What? What do you mean? You don't know? Well, well, I knew, but I can't remember now. I guess I forgot. Ah. Wait a minute, that's it. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about what it means to forget. To forget to do something. Forget to verb. Everyone, if you forget something, you don't remember it. You fail to remember it. Now, just now, I almost forgot what we'd be discussing. If you forget to do something, you meant to do that thing, but you didn't. Why? Well, not because you were irresponsible, but because you didn't remember to do it. It just slipped your mind. Note, you can forget noun, you can forget to verb, and you can forget verb ing. These are all acceptable ways of using this word. For example, he forgot visiting the Sistine Chapel as a child. Forget Forget加动词ing则表示你忘记有做过某事，也就是说事情你已经做了，可是说话的人他忘记了。例如， she forgot to lock the door before going out. 她出门前忘了锁门。那如果改成 she forgot locking the door before going out. 意思是说她忘记自己出门前有锁门，她有做这件事情，但是她忘了。好，那我们要翻译的句子是表达忘了备份，忘记去做这件事，所以是要用 forget to加原形动词表达。Okay, let's not forget that it is almost time to look over the final explanation of the day. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to discuss the second to last explanation of the day. Back up. Back up. Nowadays, it seems like there are copies of our stuff everywhere. There are copies of our computer or smartphone files on our devices themselves. They're up in the cloud, they're on Dropbox and Google Drive, etc. To back something up very simply is to make a copy of something that we then keep safe. We do this so that if anything bad happens to what we're working on, like let's say our computer crashes and we lose what we're working on, 
we don't lose everything. That's why we back stuff up. So we don't lose everything. We've got a copy to work from, a backup copy. For example, I back up my computer's hard drive every evening. Jeff 老师说，他每天晚上都会备份电脑硬碟的资料。那么 back up 就表示备份，像你要表达备份资料啊、备份文件等等，就可以用这个片语。例如 ，It's best to back up all of your important files regularly. 最好是经常把你所有重要的档案做备份。Yay, we've made it, folks! Yes, it is now time to start discussing the final explanation of the day. Start over. <gasps> You back things up so that you don't have to start over and do stuff all over again. Yes, if you have to start over or start something over, you have to start doing something from the very beginning. Now, let's say you have to start your term paper over. If that's the case, you have to do everything all over again.、Mm. There's just you and an empty page. And no work has been done for the most part. Ayo. For example, I had almost finished the race when the coach told me that I'd have to start over. 嗯，当你都快完成某件事的时候，突然必须重来一遍，这真的会让人很挫折。那么 start over 表示重新开始，重新做某事。你也可以说 start over again， 或者是 start all over again。像是 Peter accidentally deleted his assignment， now he has to start all over again。Peter 不小心把他作业删掉，现在他必须重来一遍，重写一遍了。好，那么现在看完相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence。Could be. I forgot to back up my files, so I had to start over. Oh. Anyway, with that, this month's translation practice lesson is now in the books. Mm-hmm. Which means that we'll all have to wait for next month to have some more translation practice fun. Anyway, for now, bye bye. 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 Hello， 各位同学，大家好，我是吉安老师。我们今天带大家看一下照片描述题啊，超狂攻略的什么嘞？预览图片，预览图片的时候呢，我们要问问题嘛。嗯，看到这个景物体的场景题的时候，哦，不是物品，然后是场景，你要问的是什么嘞？你要问自己说，哎，这个是在哪里啊 w h e r e is it？ Location 很重要。第二个呢，前景背景有什么？因为它就是只有一个很大的场景，很宽。宽阔的场景，它没有一个很明确的一个东西，所以你要很注意一下这个前景背景是什么所以这个就会变成是主词的部分了。What is it doing？ 这个东西有没有什么物品啊？什么东西正在干嘛嘞 ？All right， 我们就直接来看这个题目了。看完应该就会比较清楚了。好，哦，这个景象呢是大家比较不熟悉哦，在台湾好像没有这种样子哦。OK， 这边看起来就是这个住宅区嘛，哦，就整排的都是呃 apartment buildings 哦，或者是呢这个是什么 single houses 都有可能哦，就是它是很多的房子，房子外面都有什么东西嘞？哦，先想一下，等一下可能会出现的哦。然后呢，呃，人行道上面有没有东西啊？人行道怎么讲嘞 ？OK， 你还注意到什么东西？这边它的地上有下雪啊、哦，所以呢，有可能会讲到天气啊。但是照理说，一般来说是看不出天气来的、哦。All right， 好，我们就来听听看这一题。A， the sidewalk has a tall fence on both sides. B， the new snow on the ground is very deep. C。The buildings have staircases on the outside. D, the staircases have only five or six steps. All right, 再听一次喽 The sidewalk has a tall fence on both sides. B, the new snow on the ground is very deep. C, the buildings have staircases on the outside. D, the staircases have only five or six steps. All right, 答案是第三个啊 C 啊，那我们来听一下。A, the sidewalk has a tall fence on both sides. All right, the sidewalk has a tall fence on both sides. 这边是对的吗 ？The sidewalk, sidewalk 就是这个人行道，人行道 has a tall fence. 这个是 fence， 但是其实它也不算高了哈。那但是这个是见仁见智，对不对？有时候哦，这个好好高哦，那怎么办？
重点在这边 ，on both sides 两边哈，但是我们这边只可以看得到一边而已啊。那另外这一边有没有很高的？不知道，所以呢不能脑补。答案 A 是不能选的。All right， sidewalk， sidewalk 是美国的讲法，在英国呢我们叫做 pavement。All right， pavement 也是人行道的意思。B 选项的 new snow on the ground is very deep. 嗯，新下的雪啊，那你其实你也看不出这个到底是新的还是旧的嘛，都白白的啊。<笑>所以呢，这个看不出来。而且呢， is very deep， 非常的深哈，并没有很深哦。所以呢，这个就不能选。C the buildings have staircases on the outside. 它每一个大楼、每一个建筑物呢，在外面都有什么 staircases， 就是楼梯了。最后一个 ，the staircases have only five or six steps. 它只有五六阶。但是我们要看一下它有没有乱讲话。你看这边有几阶？三四五六啊，七八九，对，很多阶。所以呢，这个就不能选了啊。所以答案就是 C。记得错一点点就算错。以上是我们今天的课程内容，我们下部影片见喽，拜拜。Hi, hi, Holly. I'm Shane. 欢迎来到一混淆字大解析 Welcome to Confusing Words. So we have three words today that could be a little bit confusing,、mm -hmm. but not after we explain them. It would be so easy.、Mm -hmm. So we have three words: damage, destroy, and ruin. Oh, okay. 有点难度，对不对？好，没关系，我们来看第一个 damage。Okay, so Chinese, what do all these three do? You translate them into the same word? Well, 三个都是有损坏、毁坏的意思。但是呢 ，damage 啊 ，specifically， 它这个是可能就是损坏、伤害。那可能就是什么东西被就是坏掉了一点点，或者是民生环境等等等的被损。So, for example, you can say the dripping water did damage to the wooden floor in the cabin. 嗯哼，所以滴落的水滴呢，对小屋里的木地板造成了损害。那这种 damage 比较是可以修好的。Right? Yeah. Compared to the next one, which is destroy. Destroy. So, 这个感觉就是 it's done. Forget it. 对，就是已经完全摧毁，就是连修都不用修了。上一个是还可以修，那这个就是 OK， fine， fine， 不行，直接放弃。Right. 所以呢，它就是让它不存在，或者是就是没有办法修。Like our 摧毁 ，like our planet， right？ So、yeah. we could say global warming could destroy our planet。嗯，对，全球暖化有可能会毁灭我们的地球。We can't go back. It's destroyed. 毁灭就毁灭，没有没有可以回去了，没有没有办法。And the last one, ruin. Okay, so ruin is a little bit different.、Mm. I think ruin is kind of about like how you feel about something. Ah,、uh, right. So it's the same as ruin or destroy. But it's more about how you feel. 它原本是好好的，然后它变成不好了，那你的 emoji 可能是有点受影响。也许你觉得，你有不一定是你也觉得、嗯、，right？ So I could feel like oh, this ruin. I think it's okay. 对，就是每一个人的感觉不一样。你可能觉得啊，这很坏，然后我觉得还好。So like soup, I'm cooking. This is Dustin ruined the soup he was cooking by putting too much salt in it. Mm -hmm. So Dustin, 呢煮汤的时候放太多盐，让它变坏了。But maybe you like more salt. 也许我也喜欢很多盐巴的。Dustin 也喜欢啊。So 我只只是我不喜欢。So it's ruined. Yeah. Okay. So if you still feel a little bit confused, then what can we do? We can go into live action. Oh my God! My shirt is totally ruined. What's wrong with it? It looks okay to me. No, it's not. Look, it's torn right here. I can't wear it like this. I'll look like a homeless person. <laughs> you already look like a homeless person, so it doesn't really make a difference. Ha ha! Very funny. Hey, I'm serious. What should I do? This is my favorite shirt. It's just a little bit damaged. It's not ruined. I can fix it for you. I am pretty good at sewing clothes. Really? You're good at something? <laughs> Very funny. Yes, I've been sewing clothes all my life. 
Let me take it home with me and I'll make it good as new. Are you sure? If you ruin it anymore, then I will destroy you. I'd like to see you try. Ah! <laughs> Weakling.